Inside Edition's been in Philadelphia, shining some pretty bright lights inside some popular eateries. And Lisa Guerrero found that when the people weren't there, a different kind of diner moved in. It's a problem plaguing most major cities. Rats out in the open. Holy cow. Leaping out of dumpsters. Whoa. Hunting for food. But what about restaurants? What happens when customers leave and the place closes for the night? We sent the Inside Edition Rat Patrol to a city renowned for its great restaurants, Philadelphia. Famous for its award-winning cheesesteaks, Jim Steaks is a hot spot for tourists and residents alike. But we found at night it's also a popular hangout for cheese-loving rodents. That is disgusting. Over three nights, oh, oh, God, whoa. we watched these critters climbing behind the kitchen counter. Look at him. He's got his bread. He's carrying it. Ugh. So gross. At 3 a.m., as investigative producer Charlie McLaravy was filming the running rodents, the president of Jim Steaks showed up. Do hey, you know you've got a giant rodent problem? Don't have a giant rodent problem. Really? I just saw one running around right you inside have there. A mouse. What? You saw a mouse. There's That's at what least you saw. three running around inside I there. I saw one. Oh my gosh, there are three mice in a restaurant in Philadelphia. You don't think that's a problem? A few days later, when we returned, look what we found. They put up blinds so the rat patrol can't look in their kitchen anymore. Jim Stakes later sent this statement. Inside Edition's investigative team has provided valuable information, prompting us to evaluate and augment our health and safety efforts. Less than a block away is the famous 4th Street Delicatessen, in business since 1923 and known for their mouth-watering sandwiches. There he is. But on two nights, we watched rodents searching for leftovers. We've seen at least three running around behind the kitchen here tonight. Whoa, he just jumped out of somewhere. I'm Lisa Guerrero with Inside Edition. We tried to show our video to a manager. You have rodents in your kitchen. Worry. She walked away. The owner declined to comment and mm -hmm. also put up blonde. Next stop, one of the most popular fast food chains in the nation, Shake Shack. Comes right out of the kitchen, one, two. Night after night, we saw them zip across the restaurant floor at this location downtown. So gross. This is the third one I've seen. There he goes, into the kitchen. Do you want to see what we what we saw? I just, no comment. A week later, we came back. Right there, right there, right there. Right and there. sure enough, the rodents were still there. They're scurrying all over the place. They're having a little mouse party. And there's no doubt there's a population in here, which means they're breeding in the facility. Bruce Colvin is a world-renowned expert on rodents. What bothers me about them going in and out of the kitchen freely is that they could be contaminating food preparation areas. Not a good thing. The venerable De Bruno Brothers is a cheese lover's paradise in Philly's historic Italian market. There he is right there. But the legendary gourmet food store is also home to this cheese loving critter. There he goes, there he goes. And I wanted to show you something. Oh boy. Yeah. That's behind your counter. Is that something that worries you? Certainly. Yeah, obviously we have a pest control guy coming in constantly. De Bruno's owner later told us they've been in business for 78 years and have never failed an inspection report. And look at this. Well, we jumped over the trap. The rodents that call the historic Reading Terminal Market home are quite the acrobats. There he is. There he is, Lisa. Again, feeding around that trash can. On multiple nights, we watched them climb up and down these steps into the kitchen of the famed Pearl's Oyster Bar. The manager didn't want to talk to us. Yeah, you want to see this, believe me. We saw some rodents in your establishment at night, sir. Do you care? Management for the Reading Market gave us a statement on their behalf and Pearl's Oyster Bar, saying they have a pest control company that treats the market several times a week, and Pearl's passed its last inspection. They also say they will continue to take all the necessary steps to protect the health of the millions of people that visit each year. So restaurants beware, the Rat Patrol may be looking through your windows next. Shake Shack says they hold themselves to the highest standards and that the incident was unacceptable. They apologize and they assure us that the matter was immediately handled.